hey fam and welcome to my channel thank you so much for popping in or popping by if i can say that i hope that you are feeling good you are feeling blessed and most importantly you are feeling abundant so for today's um daily word and encouragement you know today i you know, just had a day where i was you know just resting and meditating on the word you know just really trying to reflect on this year um where i went wrong and where you know i should have done better and you know i feel that a lot of us are in the space at the moment and it's a good space to be in because it requires you to be honest with yourself it requires you to look at areas in your life where you feel as though okay here i shouldn't have done this and once you recognize that i shouldn't have done this it gives you an opportunity to change and do things in a different way and the message that i received from the lord is that you can't please everyone you cannot and trying to do so will always make you feel tired it will make you feel drained um you know saying yes to something whereas you wanted to say no it will build feelings of resentment you know because it wasn't something that you wanted to do but because you are afraid of losing favor with that person you end up saying yes and then you wonder why you harbor so many feelings it is because in times when you should have been saying no you were saying yes and um yeah so basically i just feel that this is saying that the days of pleasing people you know always wanting to make everyone around you happy are not going to be the same anymore you know because we are on a journey of personal growth you know we are undergoing a rebirth we are changing we are you know really learning about ourselves in so many different ways you know and we are healing through that process healing things from our childhoods that have been burdening us that have been making us feel as though we're not good enough we're not deserving we're not worthy and we're coming into a season where we recognize that the slate has been wiped clean and you can be whoever you want to be you know there are no limits to who you can be and therefore you know you shouldn't be holding on to connections out of fear of what you will lose if you let go of that person because i feel you know the lord is saying you know trust me and let go of trying to make everyone happy let go of trying to be on good terms with everyone you know today i saw this quote and it said you are not a pizza not everyone will like you and that is so true you know you are not for everyone you were made to be special you know you were made to be different and the minute you try to be like everyone and be on everyone's terms then you are missing out on what you were created to do so the lord is saying to you today that he is going to renew you he is going to renew your strength as long as you can trust in him and when you do so you are going to soar like an eagle you will be able to run and work and not get weary you will be able to walk and not faint you know because he knows where you are destined to go and if you are always going to be um a yes ma'am a yes 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 person then it's going to be difficult you know because it means that you are gaining your strength from others or you're not trusting that whatever you feel you are getting from those people he can supply it for you in abundance and also bring new things into your life that are going to 
be in line with the personal growth and the rebirth that you are going through right now so this is just saying you know to trust god and um let him have his way you know just really allow him to have his way because his plans are so much better than ours you know and i feel as though i've been saying this quite a lot you know so it's true you know he really really wants to take the lead and just show that i am real i exist i have been watching you i've been observing you i have been monitoring you you know i have been making sure that certain things in your life happen i've been making sure that certain things don't happen and now i want to restore you i want to put you in a place that you couldn't have imagined for yourself but do you trust me to do it for you or are you going to hold on to the old version of yourself because you don't want to make others uncomfortable or because you are scared to get out of your comfort zone and do something you've never done before and you know even as i'm saying that you know it resonates so deeply with me so I feel, you know, we need to be praying for strength and wisdom, you know, to handle whatever this redirection is and just asking that, you know, it goes in the way that you would have liked for things to go, but also allowing divine timing and God's plan to override any hopes and dreams that you might have had for yourself and just seeing that everything works together and you are where you are meant to be right now for a reason so learn the lessons and just make sure that you are able to get to a good space within yourself first if you are in a good relationship with yourself then everything is going to be okay and this is a journey it's not something that happens overnight it's not something that you it takes work you know it takes um conscious efforts and intentional action towards working towards yourself and being able to pick up your negative qualities you know because somewhere somehow we have all been negative or we've been toxic to someone you know it can be easier to recognize people who are toxic but then you don't see how you are toxic you know so also you know just being honest with that and um um, yeah just understanding that you know we all have a lot of inner work to do no one is perfect and acknowledging that you are not perfect allows God to really step in and try his best to perfect you and mold you and do what he wants to do for you so this is encouragement to say don't worry god has your back you know but you need to now be more assertive and firm and really stand your ground if this means that you are going to act out of character and do things that you might not have done in the past then that is what is being asked of you and that whatever is coming in it is going to be so much greater than what you have let go of or what you have lost so that is the end of this um, message and i really do hope that it encourages you and it speaks to your heart and this message is based on isaiah 40 verses 31 and i feel that we all know the scripture i've been kind of going back to basics with the scriptures you know just trying to strengthen myself again in christ and um go back to the basic scriptures you know and use them as a foundation because we are taught these scriptures for a reason so um this is basically a scripture where you can find strength to keep on doing what's right and it reads those who trust in the lord will find new strength they will soar high on wings like eagles they will run and not get weary they will walk and not face and not faint 
so you know god is just asking us to listen in silence and just listen to what he is trying to tell you and receive the strength that is wanting to be poured down upon you and understand that redirection is a blessing so don't take that blessing for granted again um thank you for tuning in i love and appreciate you all so much